Hello my soccer universe for a quick Premier League special. I was not planning to do a review and there is an evening game also happening, but I wouldn't miss talking about the result or the most uh, remarkable result this season, not only in the Premier League, I would say everywhere in Europe, because I don't think we have seen such an annihilation coming out of literally nowhere. And if it would have happened, you would have said it may go the other way around. That was simply, simply, simply remarkable. It happened on a weekend full of highlights. I mean, we had Arsenal winning in the last second, turning around and having another one of those. Yeah, they look like they're title contenders. But the biggest game in England yesterday was Liverpool against United, mostly down to the um, stature of uh, both of these clubs because it was not a title uh, fight in any way but boy what a result and what's even weirder is like sometimes beat downs it's a beat down from uh first minute to last minute it was not it was absolutely not in the first half this was a very competitive game a game that was actually enthralling to watch and then we after the half time whistle it just went the other way it just went the other way and it got so out of whack and what i find even more more impressive is not only that liverpool did play great and did look like the liverpool that we are accustomed to what i found more is how united seemingly in disbelief that this cannot be happening that is to try to at first try to play normally instead of doing damage control and once they realized, okay, we are gonna get slaughtered here, that they just fell apart. And this was a United team that I've been, and not only me, many others have been praising to high heaven as of late. Now, if you want to look for was this in the making, yes, ever since Liverpool lost 3-0 to Wolves, this was the downturn, and Real Madrid they have been a little bit of an upturn. Okay. Also, the United results as of late, yes, they were professional, but they were not as impressive. However, United were in a much better shape than Liverpool. Overall, seen overall. There is no doubt about that. And then 7-0 for Liverpool. The biggest win for Liverpool in the rivalry. I mean, United have lost 7-0 before, but that's was in the 1930s, so almost 100 years ago. Yeah, okay, 90 years ago. Uh... It just doesn't happen. The, something like this doesn't happen. And I remember, I mean, I, I was watching it on Sky in uh, Austria, where I, I get the German feed. And uh, they had the expert Rene Adler, former goalkeeper, I think, uh, who said, I was part of those beatdowns. And I know, see exactly what's happening to, to, to United. First of all, they are in denial. And second of all, then they're not fighting. And the team T2 is completely falling apart. And the one thing is, and he said it at 4 for nil. at this moment, the coach has to step in and say, damage control. And yes, United were then hanging back a little bit, but there was so much space. They didn't even attack. They didn't do anything. They willingly walked into a slaughter, an annihilation. It has to be. I mean, it's Anfield annihilation bar none. And what goals? I mean... As I said, the first half, I thought that Liverpool had the better of, maybe let's say the first 20 minutes, but just when United actually were really getting in, into the game and were about to boss the game and even had a good chance, I mean, um, uh, namely a uh, Bruno Fernandes header, which well could have gone in. Uh, they were about to take the lead and then a great pass by Robertson and an even better finish by Gakpo settles this, sets it 1-0 at the half and you really thought that United gonna come, come back but then Nunez immediately after 4.47 makes it 2-0 and then not shortly after Gakpo 3-0 and that was actually my favorite goal because not, not only the run that Salah does and Salah was then brilliant in the second half the run that Salah does the pass he saw I would not have picked that pass and it was uh, because I thought there's a danger of an offside but he finds it was not offside and then it's such an acute angle and Gakpo still gets it in. Ma magic stuff. Salah so adds uh, uh, an another uh, two then afterwards bring his talent to be now the top Premier League goal scorer for Liverpool. I'm not sure how it is in total uh, in, in, the, in the top flight. And then Nunez gets a brace. So if Gakpo, Salah, Nunez clicking, 
And then to the cherry on top is that Firmino, who just announced that he's going to leave Anfield. He scores also a goal assist by Salah. Everyone was so happy, except for the idiot fan who got off and almost injured Liverpool players. But it was such an odd, odd, odd game to watch. Easily the most remarkable result, because again, we were talking about how good they just had won a title. They looked like the Europa League favorites. And then that, and then that, and Liverpool, who just, and, 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 and no, there's no transitive property in football. But United beat Barcelona. Barcelona just beat Real Madrid twice this year already. Real Madrid went to Anfield, had a beatdown on Liverpool. And Liverpool has a beatdown on United, who actually, actually is, is in the top of the chart. From every angle that they look at, I mean, the, the one thing I can say is, I don't think that uh, as good as Real Madrid looked at Anfield, I don't think that either of the Sp Spanish teams are have, having a, a great season. But yeah, I don't know where this, what more I, I, I can say. I'm really curious to see how this is going forward. United have to play now against Betis, which would be a perfect of, 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 of opponent to get it all off. And I'm also going to see what Liverpool is going to do at Real Madrid, although I don't think it's going to happen. But what a statement. And this was literally the Liverpool of old. I think this has more going forward. Um, Liverpool can now finish top four. It's well within their reach, especially with Spurs also losing. So a top four finish for Liverpool is well in the cards. And I think they would be favored for that. Can they ca catch United? Maybe. I'm also curious going forward how Ten Hag is going to deal with his squad because he already called them unprofessional. Absolutely amazing. And then it was just, it was literally Jerry on top of a already amazing Premier League weekend. But I'll do the review on that uh, probably next week uh, to say a little, a little bit more. But even Arsenal's comeback uh, was quite impressive. Boy, what a game. What a beatdown. I mean, I could not believe watching that. And I think it was many others were thinking the same. Any case, let me know your thoughts on that game. And especially, where do you think, what will this mean for the rest of the season? I think this to me is a way more interesting thought. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop some thoughts below. I'll talk more to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!